Tennis friends, let's do a quick sneak peek here at two of the most amazing backhands ever. One-handed backhands on the tour. On the left, obviously, we have Stan Wawrinka. On the right, uh, the Fed. So I'm just going to point out some commonalities here. Most of you that watch my videos know that when it comes to technique, um, I'm not so rigid. I think that there's a thing called the range of acceptability. But what we're going to look at here are these two guys. I have them synced up to the point of contact is where they're going to be identical. But you can see all the commonalities. So first of all, I want you to zoom in on the grips here. Um, both of the grips are, you know, racket. The throat is, uh, or the, the non-dominant hand is up here by the throat. Very common thing. In both cases, the, the racket head is mostly up. You know, it's not... Uh, off to the side or anything crazy like that. Uh, so let's just kind of keep going um, and few a few more things. We're going to go here and you can see Roger's a little early in his turn. You can see Roger on the right. He's getting a little bit more shoulder turns, but these things will kind of catch up. As with most great shots, there's not a lot of variation. There's a ton more of things that are common. So you can see both guys, Roger's already putting his head down. His eyes are kind of down because the ball's a little closer to him. Uh, you can see the beginnings of Roger's back, right? You can see this is basically his whole back facing us. Uh, Stan, not quite so much on the back just yet, but let's see how this progresses. Uh, so now we get going a little bit further. Now you can see Stan, look back at that back situation again. A little bit more turn, Roger even more so. So they're getting a lot of coil. And I also want to bring your attention to the racket position here. I'm sorry, yeah, the racket head in particular. So you can see at its furthest back, they both have very similar look right here, kind of tucked behind their head. Uh, the racket is being tucked kind of behind their head. Um, look at the stances, look at the body posture, look at the left elbow here and the, or the left elbow here. I mean, so many things uh, in common here. So let's keep going forward in this stroke. Uh, now you can see in both cases the rackets are dropping. You can see that Stan, you know, Stan's a little further along in the stroke now. His racket's a little lower over here. Um, Fed's racket's on its way down this way, and Stan's is already a little further. He was behind, now he's, he's caught up. Uh, and now at what point they drop to how low? But I want to show you something. Uh, I actually forgot to mention it, so I'm going to back up to film here a little bit. Uh, you can see... Let me get myself linked up here. If you were to take a, a line right now and put it through their shoulders, you can see their shoulders are not parallel. Okay, we got a little bit of a dip here. The, in other words, the right, the leading shoulder in their example is um, lower. Um, so let's keep going. Uh, we talked about the racket. Let's kind of pause it here when the rat, right about here is about as low as it's going to get. You can see in stands, um, the racket is down here by his butt. Uh, Fed is going to get there right about by his butt. Then it kind of disappears on the other side. And now watch what happens. Here comes the hitting arm. Um, leading the way is the, the buck cap. Uh, so in this position, they look very, very similar, right? Straight arms, by the way. Straight arm, no, no bend, bending in the arm. And let's go right to the point of contact. And here they both are at point of contact. Fed with his world famous ability to keep his head low, that's pretty unusual. Uh, Stan's watching the ball, doesn't bury his head as much. But look at all the commonalities here. You can see the, the, the hand sticking out here, the hand sticking out here. Uh, the weights you can see is mostly on their front foot. Uh, that's where most of the, the energy is. Um, and now you can see, you see Stan actually had a little deflection there. Uh, so let's keep going forward and look at these follow throughs. By the way, look at Federer, unusually awesome at watching. I mean, this is so crazy, right? He's known for this, but he keeps his head down for sure. Stan pretty much down, but it kind of looks to me like he's already peeking at the ball. And look at these finishes, which are inhuman. I'm not suggesting that people do these finishes. Uh, if I did this finish that Federer is doing here, uh, my arm would fall off. But you can see that it's really extended. And now you're going to see a little weird thing, how both of these gentlemen kind of almost appear to, appear to be falling back. 
their weight was on this front foot in both cases I showed you that front foot was all loaded and now they almost have this feeling of almost falling back and then if I play this a bit longer you see them both get into position um, regrip the racket at the throw and get ready for the next shot so a ton of good things to look at there just wanted you to see it again uh, coach Jorge Capistani you can check out more of these videos on my page um, JorgeCapistani.com it's all free and I'd like to hear what you have to say a lot of interesting stuff here so good luck to all you players and coaches on the court and thanks for checking us out